Hmm. Well, that doesn't look good. So yeah, the other day, had a little accident. Um, learned a valuable lesson though, as far as being careful when you're playing records. <laughs> so what I did is I had the record on turntable, I played it. So um, it was over, I stopped the turntable, I put the tone arm over onto its resting spot, I picked up the album, and when I got about just high enough off above the tone arm, my hand, hit the tone arm which caused it to bounce out of its resting spot it bounced over under the record I, I was holding onto the rubber platter mat hit that and bounced back and so in that function the bounce over hit the needle and then drug it back and it bent it right out of spot so um there's really no it's it's bent there's really no way to restore that um it is just a generic uh audio technica you know 95 the ones that come with it so um what i did is i said you know i guess maybe it's time for an upgrade um and i went ahead and bought the order phone red it is the lower uh rated i mean you know the lower cost of the order phones um i figured i'd start there i really couldn't afford the you know a three hundred dollar needle you know to go for a blue or something um but you know this was a step up from the thirty dollar standard audio technica one that i had been using um this is actually the second audio technica when they when, when when i bought the turntable it came with two and uh after i don't know a year or le i don't know a year and a half or so um, I switched over to the second one they gave me, and it made a huge difference. So, anyway, so I got the order phone, put it on. Now I wanted to do it right, so I went online. I, you know, I went through the whole process, reset the turntable, checked the anti-skating and the weight, and did all those settings again from scratch. Because you really need to do that when you uh, get a new, a, a new stylus, new needle there. Um, now, as as I sh showed, uh, I went ahead and got the order phone needle cartridge that already was in the head case um just because now i have a second head case so i could get a second you know replace this in here and then i would have one i could change it up and i've heard of people doing that where they have one that maybe is a little lower grade that they might put on for albums that are in really rough shape so they don't want to you know ruin a new needle i don't know there's various theories behind it but you know i could always replace it and uh, and have a second on hand in case this something stupid like this were to happen again now of course what i do now is i take the needle off put it on this on this position thing i lock the needle in i pull the record off put it on and then when i go to unlock it because i've had this happen too where you go to unlock it and when it snaps it bounces the thing out onto the record i put my hand over there i'm just becoming a little more careful because now i've got a needle that's uh, you know a little more expensive than the cheaper ones um anyway so i went ahead and did all that and i actually went out and downloaded one of the protractors did the whole uh you know making sure the head was aligned turns out the head was perfectly aligned out of the box so um some people say don't trust it and i, I would always now that i have the protractor i would always check it myself but uh, i was glad to find that it needed no adjustment the order phone came uh, perfectly aligned um so yeah I've upgraded my needle. So let's get on to some, um, what we got come recently in the mail. So the other day, uh, I've been trying to sell off some of my CDs on Discogs and places like that. And in some cases, with some of the releases I've been selling and then buying the remastered edition, you know, upgrading. Um, I hate having multiple copies, as I've mentioned before. In this case, I didn't. I wasn't really thinking about this. I had uh, I had only listed stuff on on 
discogs that were worth something i'm not gonna you know nickel and dime a dollar two dollar three dollar cds here if a cd is worth you know 10 15 20 and above then i went ahead and had them listed maybe eventually i'll get around to listing the others but when i first went through and did a pass through i went and listed things that were worth stuff um so i sold a cd for i forget how much it was i want to say it was like forty dollars i don't know and i thought you know what i'm gonna go ahead and and grab the vinyl so i sold the cd packaged it up took that money looked right back at this guy's at the same release on vinyl found a copy that was unopened kind of scary because we're from the 80s but you know you never know an unopened copy for like eight dollars and so i picked up Rhett forster's uh even the score now I'm a big Red Forrester fan. I mentioned him before in my, one of my previous recent videos about uh, being the singer from Riot and how much I really just fell in love with his vocal style and everything. I had picked up one of his other albums a while back last year on oldies.com. Um, he has a second album and it came also in shrink wrap and you know it's always scary because it could be warped but it wasn't. This one was in shrink wrap. It, it had a little cut out um, but it was you know great price compared to you know swapping out for a CD and uh and so i picked this up and uh it's not worked so that's good um needs to be played through a couple times it seems like when i played it the first time it it was skipping a lot and of course that was with the old needle i should try with the new needle um anyway but i find that sometimes the first play through it's almost like it kind of has to clean the grooves a little and then second time around it tends to be better so i picked this up and while i was at it the guy also had this album which i have on cd and um Loved it when it came out and wanted to get it. It was I was surprised to find it on vinyl for, uh, you know, a cheap price. And now you may or may not be familiar with this. This is called Thrasher. Now it's kind of burning at the speed of light. It's kind of a you know a bunch of musicians got together. It's not really a band. Um, now this is uh, and this one is autographed by Kim Simmons. Now he's one of the guitar players that played on it. Now, the, the mastermind pretty much behind this is Carl Kennedy, or Kennedy, Kennedy. He's a drummer for the Rods. Uh, a long time ago, I mentioned him in another video. Uh, pretty much anything that has his name on it. He does producing. He plays on things. He's a drummer, like I said, for the Rods. Um, New York band had a bunch of albums out. I think they, you know, they they had an album out a couple years ago. Still kind of doing, you know, doing the comeback thing. Um and so back in the day in new york you know he appears on a lot of different albums um seems like i've seen him on jack stars releases and things like that so he's all over so really when i see his name i'm pretty sure it's going to be something quality well back in the day in the 80s i forget when this was when was this 80 uh, i can't see it it's on combat records um anyway in in the 80s he put together this and it has a bunch of different people on it let me show the cover here as you can see it's a bunch of different people including Rhett Forster who I just mentioned um, and uh, there's Carl there and then it's got Dan Beeler if I can find this picture Dan Beeler was the singer drummer there's Carl um, the drummer and singer for Exciter one of my favorite you know thrashy type bands from those days um, so I really wanted to buy it for that. And then it's got a bunch of other musicians on here, including, like I say, Kim Simmons, who I'm drawing a blank as to what he was popular for back in the day. Um, but it's just kind of like, hey, let's get a bunch of guys together and do an album. So every song, you know, has different players on it. For the most part, Carl plays drums for the most part on all of them. Um, so, it, you know, it, it changes up. But it's a really cool, um, it's, it's heavy metal maybe some touch of thrash here but not really it's really kind of straightforward gutsy metal um and, and it's good it's good it's good um and i got it you know for a fair price i bought that in the red forester from the guy and still made a still made money on the cd so even after shipping all right so great stuff and then i got in one of the um it's not technically one of the limited run vinyls but it is from Gerda music it's sort of along the same lines i don't think it is it i don't think it's labeled limited run it didn't come with no so john elefante i mentioned him just recently because i got the two mastodon albums that were released as limited run vinyl and john elefante was a singer for mastodon he's a solo artist also this is one of his most recent solo albums uh 2016 i believe and 
Um, he like he's also was a singer for Kansas back in the eighties, like for a few, couple albums. Vinyl Confessions is my favorite album, and he sings on that. Play the game tonight. That's a song that most people know because they had a video. Anyway, so he's the singer from that. Um, and like I said, he went on to do a bunch of Christian music with Mastodon. Uh, and then this is another a Christian release. And uh, it is released like the limited run on Splatter. Very pretty. I've played this probably a half a dozen times. It's really nice. Album wasn't enough to hold all the songs, so they put a 7-inch in there. It's just black, one song on each side. So you have all of the songs here. Um, it's got some other players on here. Uh, I, I'd have to look up. I forget. But it's got a real Kansas-y feel at times because they've got, like, the fiddle players and stuff. Um, and so they've got some of the uh, some other musicians that have played on here and joined, uh, joined John on this. And so this, uh, you know, I, first time on vinyl, and it's sounding really good. Anyway, and it is, I guess, the first X amount of people that got it, it was autographed by John. So that's always a nice little thing. Um, I listened to this album back when it came out on Spotify and loved it. And so when it came out on vinyl, I was excited to, because uh, I never did pick up the CD, but I was excited to see that it was coming on vinyl. So I jumped on this one immediately. Uh, I had to have this. Maybe it wasn't immediately. I think I might have waited a couple weeks for like a dummy, but I got it. Anyway great to have it finally just came out and got it in the mail and that is some good stuff so i encourage you to check this out check it out online it's just good melodic aor uh rock from the 80s sound but not really you know more modern uh good stuff good stuff john always is impressive with his material anyway that's it for now new needle a couple new records to spin great stuff thanks for watching rock on see you later